turn to sing together, and we are going to start with hymn number two from our CGS. Number two is a song of worship, and we are here this morning to worship the Almighty God. Yes. You're welcome to the house of the Lord on this lovely Sunday morning. It is the prayer of our heart that um, God who has made it possible for you and I to be part of this assembly. He knew you were coming. He was here before you got here. And I have the belief in my heart that he has planned something special for you and me for today. Amen. It is the prayer of my heart that you are not going to miss it, Amen. just as I pray that I will not miss it. In Jesus' name, Amen. a similar warm welcome is extended to our internet audience, wherever you may be. God bless you for deciding to enjoy this devotional service with us. We are the apostolic faith. We are the one on Bexley, um, Penhill Road, number 13. In case you are visiting or you live locally and you like to be part of this service, you are very welcome. You have just missed out on the lovely prelude that we had from the orchestra. Look ye saints, the sight is glorious. And then rejoice in the Lord from the choir before we had um, in my heart, there's a melody there, which is a duet from the Oola Bees. You just missed out on that, but um, you can as well just join on what we have left. It's time for us now to sing together, and we are beginning with hymn number two. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. We are taking verses one, three, and four.
going to stand up to sing our last song before we have the congregational prayer, and that's going to be number 156. <laughs> with our eyes closed, Brother Francis will come forward to lead us in congregational prayer. Thank you, our gracious Lord. Amen. We just love you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts for such a wonderful privilege that we have before you, O oh Lord, to come before you from time to time, lift up holy hands, holy hearts, holy voices unto you in adoration, in praises, in appreciation, O God, and in worship. Amen. We are so eternally happy and grateful, O God. You, and we just thank you, Lord, for the privilege. Amen. Lord, we thank you for Jesus Christ that you sent to this world to die for us so that we will not die anymore. Amen. O God, thank you for all that you went through on the cross of Calvary. Amen. And we know that if we can look unto you today, O Lord God, and always. If our attention can be focused on you, we will see your footprints. And we can plant ours there. And so long as we do that, we will not miss the way. Even though we are fools, your word has told us that we will not miss the way. Because you will guide, you will lead us. O Lord, we thank you for this provision. We give you glory and honor. Be Your name be exalted, O Lord. Lord, we're just thanking you for your presence here already this morning. You came before we ever came. Oh Lord, we thank you for your plans to bless us greatly. We are committing the preacher to your hands and ask oh God that you speak your word through him. Let your word come out with power. Let it come out with authority. Oh Lord, let it consume sins in our lives. Let it take away all unrighteousness. Oh Lord, by the power of your word this morning, fulfill your promise to save. Fulfill your promise to sanctify. Fulfill your promise to sanctify. Fulfill your promise to baptize, O oh Lord. Fulfill your promise to deliver. Heal today, O oh Lord. 
Every sin sick soul, heal, O Lord. Every sick body, heal, O Lord. Every sick mind, heal, O Lord. Deliver the Lord God and let your name be glorified. Thank you for we know you have answered as you have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. testimony of the Lord is sure, Amen. making wise the simple. Amen. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. Amen. The commandment of the Lord is pure, Amen. enlightening Amen. the eyes. Amen. The fear of the Lord is clean, Amen. enduring forever. Amen. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Amen. More to be desired are they, uh, more to be desired are they than gold, yeah, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Verse 11 and the last. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Amen. Take up thy cross. And follow me, I heard my master say, I gave my life to ransom thee, 
Brethren, I bring greetings to you from Weka Headquarters, Lagos. Please talk with me to the letter written to the Hebrews, chapter 4. I'm reading verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, right. and a, a designer yeah. of the thoughts and, mind and intents of the heart. Yeah. Glory be to God. Amen. <clears throat> congratulations. Amen. I say congratulations Amen. to you and to me for the grace that we have yes. to see this day, Amen. the last Lord's Day in April 2018. Yeah. Right. When we consider what's going on around us, mm -hmm. on daily basis, we continue to praise God yeah. for sparing our lives. Yes. May please accept our thanks Amen. and praises. May please accept our thanks and praises. Amen. The topic we want to consider within the brief time before us is knowing the power in God's word. Amen. Knowing the power in God's word. Amen. The word of God says, even if we know this thing, ye, if you, if, even if you know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Amen. I'm sure some of us, we know that there's power in the word of God. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, 
when we are faced with any trial or tribulations, we run a skater. And this is why God wants to talk to us again today, even on the topic that we know very well, the power in God's word. The place we have just read is telling us that a sword, which is the instrument in the olden days, instrument of war in those days, that is sharper, quicker, and powerful Amen. than the sword. Amen. That is, if the word of God is sharper, quicker, and more powerful than the sword, it must have been very great. Yes. Because, I mean, when you know a sword, a sword is a terrible thing. But when you now have something that is quick, sharper, and powerful, let us confirm it in the word of God. Now, turn with me to the first book of Samuel. The first book of Samuel, chapter 17. I'm reading 50 and 51. So David prevailed and the Philistine, over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. 51. Therefore, David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took a sword and drew it out of the sheep thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. I'm telling you, Amen. that is how all your enemies will flee this Amen. year. Amen. That God who has given us the grace Amen. to see up to April, yes. by the grace of God, Amen. we will see the end of this year Amen. and beyond. Amen. All the Goliaths yeah. that will be threatening you, Amen. you will see them no more. Amen. I said you will see them no more. Amen. There is power in the word of God. Amen. But we have to be careful the way we apply this power. There are some guidelines that we must follow. Right. And at the end of the day, Jesus will be praised. Amen. The word of God says that, but this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Right. The enabling to tremble, right. may God give us. Amen. Amen. At a time in the life of the children of Israel. They were at war with their regular enemy, Philistines. Do you know, the word of God says, do this and I will do this, just as we had in our Sunday school lesson. But if we leave our own side undone, God will not perform his own side. At this time, in the history of the children of Israel, they were already in a backsliding state. They went to the war. Along the line, they realized we are going to lose this war. And then they decided, let us go and bring the Ark of Covenant. They went to bring the Ark of Covenant. The Ark of Covenant came to the battlefront. There was a shout yeah. to the extent that Philistines were trembling yeah. that, ah, they've got their power. But unfortunately, the word of God says, one of them we run after 1,000. Yeah. That is, if, you are, if they are in yeah. the position where God wants them to be, yeah. the word of God is still the same today yeah. as Praise ever God. before. Amen. But why is it that nowadays we, f we fail to achieve many things? We cannot deceive God. No. We can deceive ourselves. Yeah. We can deceive our friends. But we cannot deceive God. No. For the word of God to avail for you, you have to be where God wants you to stay. Yeah, that's true. At the end of that war, that battle with the Philistines, the children of Israel, they lost the battle. Mm -hmm. The Ark of Covenant was taken away from them. Yeah. It was a serious mess. Yeah. Unfortunately for the Philistines, they carried the Ark of Covenant uh -huh. to the house of their idol. 
The following morning, they woke up uh -huh. only to see that their idol, the Dagon, was already prostrating before their before the Ark of Covenant. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. They were surprised what happened. They thought maybe the wind just blew it down and they put it back again. Uh -huh. The following day, the second day, they were disappointed. The head of the Dagon was cut off. The, the palms already removed. So it became only just the storm. And this is exactly what happens in our case. If the word of God dwells richly in us, right. no matter where we are taken, we will prevail. Amen. God will be on our side. Amen. And God has never changed. No. No. The same yesterday, yeah. today, yeah. and forevermore. Right. When you have any problem, and you call on God, yeah. and see you don't have get the, not the correct answer, please examine yourself. Mm -hmm. May God help us. Amen. Amen. Wherever we may be, even if we are taken to the bottom left part of the sea, yeah. the word of God will bring us out. Amen. Amen. You remember the case of those young three Hebrew children? Because they are called Hebrew children. Children, they means they are not adults. But wherever they were, the place where they were in, the cap in captivity, they still took their stand. Yeah, How many of us today still take our stand? In some areas, mm -hmm. when the elders are not there, the people of God are not around you, don't you know what we do? <laughs> and, you know, we have to be careful. Mm -hmm. There is power in yeah. this word of God. Yeah. We all know it. Mm -hmm. And it's now we are saying it again to know more that there is power. Yeah. But this power will only, be, will only avail for us if we are where God wants us to be. Yeah. Right. Joshua said, me and my house. We serve the Lord. Amen. And you and your, your family, your children, your wife serving the Lord. If they are not, then there's a business for you to do. True. Get things right. Because if you don't get it right, that small bit is going to be a problem. May God help us. Amen. I said, may God help us. Amen. By the time they were thrown in the fairy furnace, the Eden king gave a testimony that what? What did I see? Uh -huh. That is power of God. Yeah. And then not three we throw into the fire. Mm. I think they are four, and I can see four. Yeah. And the sail of the fourth one is like the Son of God. Yeah. Oh, glory be to God. Yeah. That is the, to confirm to us that the word of God is ever the same. Yeah. God has never changed. No. And he will not change no. on the, the coming of the Lord. Yeah. In the creation, in the creation, darkness came before light. And when God is trying us, when we are going through some trials and persecutions, God knows what he's going to do. It might be like the case of the creation. But end of the day, end of the day, God looks back and sees that what he has created is good. In the same way as I can tell you, that end of the day, Amen. all those that things that are worrying us, they will be good. Amen. We will have victory. Amen. I said we will have victory. Amen. Let's look at First John. Uh, sorry, Gospel according to Saint John. Um, we we'll read from verse one, uh, chapter one, verse one. The word of God says, "In the beginning." was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. That is to confirm to us that when we are talking about the power in the word of God, we are also talking about the power in our Lord Jesus. Because there are two and one. You remember when Jesus, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he told the ladies who came to the sepulchre, go and tell my disciples, to meet me at Galilee. And the first thing he told them was that all power. Yeah. I said all power yeah. had been given to him. Yeah. Both in heaven right. and in earth. Right. And why do we need to fear? We are in the right place. Yes. May yeah. God keep us there. Yeah. 
May God keep us there. If we can patiently wait, tomorrow is going to be good. Amen. We need to be patiently wait. And may God help us to be able to wait patiently. Amen. Remember the case of David. David was ordained, but he could not go to the throne. And for a good 10 years, he was running Eta Skater for his enemy. Even when he had the opportunity, the opportunity to kill that enemy. You all know. It's Ahmad Biara, Abishai said, Look, just give me a chance. Only once. Yeah. I won't do it twice. Yeah. And you know what David said? He said, no one can touch the anointed and be guiltless. That we can find in 1 Samuel 26, 9. But because of time, we will not be able to read all these references. We must be sure of our three Christian experiences. Yeah. Nothing can overpower us Amen. if we are in the grace. And may God help us to continue to be in the grace. Amen. Nothing can stop God from performing his promise. Nothing. No, nothing. nothing. May God help us. Amen. But we need to be sure of our three Christian experiences. Salvation, sanctification, baptism of Holy Ghost and fire, with, that, with all those experiences, you can be sure that victory will be sure. Amen. And these are things we talk about from time to time. I pray that we will actually know what we are talking about. Yeah. Salvation is not a theory. No. So also the sanctification no. and baptism of the Holy Ghost. They are practical experiences oh, yeah. that we need to have oh, yeah. before we can claim that the Lord is on our side right. and we are on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. May God help us. Amen. Today, people don't take it seriously anymore. And it's, it's a pity because that's our armor yeah. to win the battle. Yeah. If we don't have it, how can we go? You say you want to go to meet this uh, Boko Haram or some other devilish people, and you haven't got anything with you, no bullet, no rocket, nothing. You have not even got AK-47, the common type of gun. And you want to go there. You know, you are, risking, you are trying to risk your life. Yeah. And the same thing with us. Yeah. When we are talking about no salvation, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost, and you feel you can confront devil, the enemy of our soul, you must be joking. That is why when you come into our midst, yeah. we don't introduce you to the leader. We don't introduce you to anybody on the platform. No. We introduce you to Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. You go on your knees, oh, confess yes. your sins, oh, yes. pray through. Yeah. And the moment you are saved, you will know. Yeah. I said you will know. Yes. And when you are saved and you are in the grace, you will also know. Yes. May God continue to keep us. Amen. May God continue to keep us in the Amen. grace. I say, if we patiently wait, victory is sure. Yeah. David did not rush. And many of us are praying for one thing or the other. Maybe you are praying for a new job. You are praying for babies. You are praying for a future partner. You are praying for all sorts. But our problem is that we cannot wait. We calculate. I've been on this matter. I've been asking, no, God wants me to go. When God does not want you to go, you have to be careful. Yeah. Because many a times, we pray, we think we have heard the word of God, mm. the voice of God. Mm. We are right, we have not. Mm. Remember, Gideon, he had the voice of God to go and to the battle, that he will win the battle. Yeah. He didn't just say, yes, God has told me to win. He said, Lord God, please, don't be annoyed. Cool. I want to be doubly sure. Cool. And God is always happy with that. Yes. Yeah. When you want something from God and you feel you have got an answer, try God. God, give me a sign. I'm sure God will give you a sign. Amen. I could remember some years back in this church. A couple, 
who was not sure whether this is the person she should marry or that one. Then he put God to task and to test. He said, God, on this coming Sunday, the lady I wanted to marry, I want her to wear the same suit like me. And, you know, we had the testimony, we had this testimony in those days. And it came to pass. As soon as he came to the church looking for the lady, he saw the lady in that same, it may not be, I mean, but you can do this. Ah, he said, this is the voice of God. And this is what God wants. But how many of us put God to test before we go ahead? And God does not want you to take action in a hurry. And by taking it easy, listen to the word of God, listen to the voice of God, oh, nothing can stop you if we are covered by the sea. Whenever we are going through, whatever we are going through now, we soon become testimonies. Amen. I say we soon become testimony. May God help us. Amen. When God first sent Moses and Aaron to the children of Israel. They were rejoicing. They thought the end had come. We are right, God had just started. No sooner, their task was increased. I mean, you cannot, you, you can imagine. And that's the same thing that happens to us. Many times, Maybe we are going through certain sickness or persecution or disease or whatever. Mm. Or a body. And we feel, no, God should now do something. God has his own time. Yeah. We have our own time. Yeah. He doesn't go by one time standard, no. by one timetable. No. no. The only thing for us is to examine yourself. Yeah. Be sure you are on the right path. Yeah. Be sure. You are in the grace. Yeah. Nothing can, nothing can overpower, overpower you. Yeah. But when we are not in the grace, it is then we have problem. Yeah. May God deliver us. Amen. Amen. When they now realize that their task had increased, oh, they did not take it kindly with Moses and Aaron. No. But the word of God remains yeah. that let my people go. Yeah. God has just started. Yes. The same thing with us. Whatever we are going through is the beginning. Amen. God has just started. Amen. And you've got to have a testimony Amen. in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, there's no problem that has not got expiry date. Amen. No problem. There's a timetable. There's an expiry date. Amen. And when the expiry date comes, you will rejoice. Amen. I said you will rejoice. Amen. Many a times, our problems, we are saying all this so that you can know that there is power in the word of God. Oh, yes. Yes. And we can rely on this power. Yes. Yes. I had the testimony of a brother this morning during the Sunday school that he went to the court and judge was speaking for him as an advocate. Mm -hmm. That is the work of God. Yes. That's when working, God is working. Yes. He makes impossible possible. Yes. Oh, yes. As I said, um, many a times, we, what we consider as our problems, they are not our problems. No. But when we look at our problem, it's actually the problem. <laughs> I'll give you a testimony of a young couple. The wife was fed up with the husband and wanted to kill the husband. But she didn't have the courage. You know what he did? She went to her mother. Mom, I'm fed up with so and so. Ah, the, the, the mother said, that's good. May God give us more mothers in this country. Amen. Christian mothers. Amen. The mother said, is that so? What's the problem? He doesn't love me again. I wanted to kill her so that I can remind it to another person. I haven't got any child for him. Then the mother said, that's not a problem. I will give you a slow poison. You just put it in his in his food, and the job will be done. Ah, he said, "Thank you, mom." Yes, 
That will be good. But the mother said, but you have a task to perform. No, it's anything you ask me to do, I will do it. Okay, fine. What is it that you want me to do? The mother went inside and brought, later on, it was known, but that time it was given just like colorful, piped out something, whitish. I said, this is what you put in this food. Ah, I was very happy. Then the mother said, you have a role to play. He said, what's your role? I will do whatever you ask me to do. The mother said, you know, if eventually your husband dies with a very bad relationship, people will point a pink, accusing finger to you, that's for sure, that you are the one who killed your husband. So to avoid that, what you need to do is to go and develop extraordinary love for your husband. So then the neighbors, they see you, they know your relationship is very good. The family, they see that the relationship is very good. And the, the, the home that is not peaceful, no, that is not, no happiness, happiness will return to the home. And even, even if, when eventually your husband dies, people will not be able to say that you are the one who killed your husband. I said, Mom, I will do that. She went away and developed this extraordinary love, as we have said. Within a short time, she doesn't want to kill the husband again. <laughs> the husband, who will come from work, when there's no peace, no happiness, he wants to go out again. The, the husband now sitting at home. The house now becoming happy, and peace now comes to the home. After some time, she went back to the mom. He said, Mom, you know what? I don't want to kill my husband again. <laughs> and I said, why? Well, she, 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 she turned around to be a good husband. He's a loving husband now. Mm. Then the mother said, you know what? When you came to me to report, I knew I should work on you, not your husband. <laughs> you can see today how many homes go disarray because of the advice, bad advice, bad mothers and mothers-in-law. But look at the way that woman, the mother, settled the home. May God give us more godly mothers. Amen. The mother now referred to Ephesians 5.22, where it says, Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. You know, if all mothers could do this, we will have more happy homes. Amen. Worldwide, anywhere in the whole world, may God help us. Amen. At one time, Jesus was somewhere, and he had the news that his friend, Lazarus, was sick. Well, you would have thought that a friend in need is a friend indeed. Right. Instead of Jesus to go immediately, mm -hmm. he tarried two more days right. where he was. To the extent that Lazarus already dead. And you know, before they walk, after waiting for two more days, before they now got to them, it was already four days that Lazarus had died and buried. Before this time, before this time, Mary, Martha, and other people, they only knew Jesus as the healer of sickness. He wanted them to know that he's the life, the resurrection and life. So when he came, he said, where did you? He said, oh, Lord, if you have been here in time, my brother, our brother would not have died. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jesus said, I know, but I'm the resurrection and the life. Amen. Your, right. your brother will live again. Amen. 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 Now, said, yes, I know. He will live at the resurrection day. No, I'm telling you a different thing. Where did you lay him? They, they took him to where? To the sepulchre. Where Lazarus was already lying for over four, nearly four days. Mm -hmm. Ah, he said, Lord, don't let us bother again. He spend his thinking by now. Don't worry. Let's go there. Oh, glory be to God. 
they got to the place. Let's quickly read. John 11. John 11, chapter 11, 1 to 6. John 11, 1 to 6. <clears throat> now, a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany. The town of Mary and her sister Martha, it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Three, therefore, his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, that he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Amen. Five, now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had, when he had had, therefore, that he was sick, he stayed two days still in the present place where he was. At this time now, they cannot see. Jesus got there. After all sort of discussions, he just spoke a word. Amen. Amen. Lazarus, Amen. come forth. Amen. He said, Lazarus, come forth. May God help us Amen. to know the power we have got through our Lord and Savior. Yes. And the same man who has been dead was now on his feet. Hallelujah. And this is the person we are introducing to you. Yes. That's our Lord and Savior. Yes. Who had all power yes. in heaven, Amen. in earth. Amen. What else do we need? Amen. May God help us. Amen. May God help us. Amen. How many times have we sent for Jesus? Have we called on Jesus? And he doesn't come in time. He loves us. Yeah. I said Jesus loves us. Yeah. Not even now that we know he's our father. What else do we need? All these other people, they only try. But if we have Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we should be able to relax yeah. Yeah. and continue to pray. Yeah. Because we have seen the case where somebody was totally dead, not even sick. He had been healing sick people. Yeah. They did not know he had that power, mm -hmm. and he proved it to them yeah. that he is the life and resurrection. Amen. May God help us. Amen. May God help us. Amen. The men who followed David, they followed him closely to the end, <laughs> faithfully. If that could happen, our Lord and Savior mm. has promised us everything. Yeah. David did not promise the people all that they just follow him. He wants to go to battle, he wants to do it. For what reason? No. But we are following our Lord and Savior yeah. who has promised us everything. Amen. He has promised that we will have eternity. Amen. May God help us. Amen. And we should know that the word of God is very powerful. Yes. And in the First Corinthians 2 9, he said that the eyes have not seen, nor hear heard, neither has it entered the heart of man. Those things that God has promised, those who love him, I congratulate you Amen. that you are one of those people who love God. Yeah. And this is a promise has made, and the promise will come to pass. In, the, in, the, in, in a place in the, in the word of God, he said, Can a woman forget a sucking child? 
that she should not remember. He said, it's even possible. But I will not forget you. Amen. I cannot forget you. Amen. Let us have this consolation. Yeah. So when, we, when Jesus was leaving the disciples, finally, he didn't tell them they are not going to have problems and tribulations. Mm -hmm. The only thing he told them is that, keep here. I've conquered the world. Amen. And we know he has conquered the world. Yes. That victory is going to be ours. Amen. And that victory will be ours. Amen. May God help us to know that there is power in the word of God. Amen. At a time when Jesus was giving the word of God, which could be regarded as hard meat, they started to leave him one by one. Now remain the inner circle. And he turned to them. Yes. Are you also going? Yes. You remember the answer Peter gave? Yeah. He said, where are we going? Nowhere. Who else? Nowhere. Where else can we go? Yeah. You are the one that has got the word of life. Yes. And it is this God of the word of life uh -huh. that we cling to. Yes. Many yeah. times you find it rough. Mm. Totally rough that you wonder. Are you not serving God? Yes. God has many ways of dealing with us. Yeah. Amen. The way he's going to deal with A, it's not necessarily going to be the way he's going to deal with B. But the only thing is, we must know whom we have accepted. Job said, I know whom I'm serving. Yeah. What Job went through, who could ever imagine that that man would not deny God? That's why the fact that he did not know what was going behind him. Mm. There was a dialogue between God and Satan. Mm. Do you see my man? Okay. Yes. I've seen him because I've put a hedge around him. If you remove that hedge, let me try him. You see, and praise the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Job did not deny God. No. The Bible says that in all this, yeah. he, did not, he did not talk foolishly. How many times that when we compare ourselves with ourselves, mm -hmm. you think you are not doing good? God does not want that. No. He doesn't want you to compare yourself with another person. No. Your problem is your problem. No. He wants you to, cut, to bear that cross. Mm -hmm. And he has promised that he will help you. Amen. If Great you don't go by sideway, mm -hmm. if you don't sidetrack, no. just be sure that you are where God expects you to be. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you will laugh. Amen. I said you will laugh. Amen. The Bible says that I have been young and now I'm old. Yes. I've not seen the righteous forsaken and yes. still begging bread. Yes. We are going through a difficult time. Not only in Nigeria, not only in Africa, the whole world. Yes. What we see every day is telling us that the end is at hand. Yes. And when we know the end is at hand, what should we do? We need to be ready. Yeah. May God help us to be ready. Amen. May God help us to be ready. Amen. At a time, following the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the disciples, Jesus was just coming out to see them once a while and will disappear on a weekly basis. Along the line, that's human nature. One of their leaders, the ring leader, said, Well, I think this is enough now. I want to go out fishing. And he said, they will follow you. They follow, this, they follow Peter. And they toyed overnight throughout, throughout. They caught nothing. That's always the case. When we forsake God, yeah. when we live the right way, yeah. and we think we want to try another thing, mm -hmm. we achieve nothing. Mm -hmm. May God keep us here. Amen. Amen. This is sort of the fun thing. May God keep us here. Amen. And end of the day, early in the morning, Jesus appeared to them. He loves us. Yeah. Jesus loves us. Yeah. When we are going through a problem and you see the way things, solution will come, is then you know that Jesus loves me. Yeah. But if you forsake and go and do another thing, then that's up to you. Early mm -hmm. in the morning, Jesus appeared to them. Children, any meat, any fish? He said, no, you're joking. Since morning, last night we have been trying. 
We never got anything. Uh -huh. ah, in obedience to that word of God. Amen. He said, put your net on the right All side. Right. Amen. All right. And they brought out 153 fishes Amen. to the extent that you could not even pull it. Uh -huh. ah, that opened their eyes to know it's the Lord. Uh -huh. We are going to go through problems. Nobody is assuring you. Your problem is not my problem. We are all going to have it. Who are we going to take after? Abraham, the father of faith, went through a screeching, a screeching trial. Very difficult, very tough one. Oh, yeah. People have said that, ah, God, you call me. I didn't expect all this that I'm going through. But end of the day, God. end of the day, Amen. he was able to be recorded that he's the father for the whole yes. nation. We say we are his children. Yeah. Glory be to God. Amen. We are bringing it to a close. Um, like Abraham, we are living here as a sojourner. Yeah. This is not our home. No. Our home is in heaven. Oh, yes. And by the grace of God, we make it. Amen. I say by the grace of God, we make it. Amen. Let us persevere a bit more. Let us go and talk to Jesus. Amen. Come and talk to Jesus. Amen. The door of mercy is not forever. Amen. One day the door is going to shut. Yeah. And we will not be able to pray or to talk to Jesus anymore. Mm -hmm. The redeemed of the Lord will have been raptured. Yeah. Yeah. And that will be the end of it. May God help you. Amen. Please come and talk to Jesus. Heavenly Father, what a privilege. What an opportunity you are giving us once again. Yes. Thank you for this word of encouragement. Thank you, Thank you for the power in your word. Yes. Even as we need down, as we open our hearts and calling upon you, beseeching, begging, pleading, that you let that word enter our heart, enter our soul, and achieve the purpose for which you have sent it. Hear us, O oh Lord. Unto salvation, unto sanctification, unto Holy Ghost baptism, Amen. unto healing for our bodies, Amen. healing for our mind, Amen. healing for our soul. Amen. Let us leave this place with joy of heaven in our hearts today. Do this for us and much more as we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.